Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So a lot of you guys have been asking me for the entire process of, you know, getting an idea and then converting that into an AI powered SaaS product, which you can then start marketing and then potentially start earning money from it. So I just wanted to walk you through the real actionable process of doing exactly that. So if you've ever felt stuck between inspiration and execution, this is the only guide that you need right now. I'll give you a overview but later on maybe we can deep dive into certain topics that you would like me to discuss about but yeah for now this is the guide using which you can get started so before we build anything we need a solid idea and in order to come up with an idea you don't have to be a genius instead of reinventing the entire wheel what i prefer beginners do is they take a product which already has some product market fit and then they build on top of it and then they start marketing it. So the best way of doing this is reverse engineering from online marketplaces. So for example, we have acquire on this platform, you will be able to see all of the SaaS products which are currently making profit and they are listed here for sale. So what you can do is I want you to go to the platforms which are doing hundred K revenue annually. And then what you can do is you can find a product which aligns with you. Once you have an idea which aligns with you, you can search G2 reviews. And from that, you will be able to see all the feedback that people are giving. So there would be a feature or two, which majority of the people are asking, but these companies are not able to implement them because there are a lot of stuff involved when a company becomes big in order to implement that feature. So I want you to take this idea. I want you to build something around this and then implement those features. And then you will have a product ready to be launched into the market, which already has a product market fit. So this is an idea which I really love. And I know a lot of people who have followed this exact same strategy and have launched successful products in the market. So yeah, you can definitely go ahead with this strategy. The other one would be solving your own problem. So look at a daily workflow. There would be something that is lacking and you need a product to solve it. Now it is possible that you already have a product out there, but it is really expensive. So what you can do is you can make a clone of it and you can then offer that exact product to the users for half the price. So definitely if you're solving someone's problem for half the price, they will definitely come to you and they would start using a product. The other way would be exploring subreddits on Reddit. So for example, we have this subreddit called SAS inside this people share their ideas every day. And what you can do is you can go through those ideas. You can take inspiration from them. You can add more features into it. Or what you can do is you can create the exact same product in some other niche maybe. So that also works. And I have seen people, you know, successfully clone a product using this exact strategy legally. So once this is done and you have a clear idea of what you want to build, so maybe you will know what you want to build, the niche in which you want to build, the features that you want to build. The next most important part that I say that everyone should follow is the planning phase. So inside planning phase, what you do is you go inside chat GPT and from inside chat GPT, you know, you try to understand the product as much as possible. And before you even dive into the product, the idea is to have a full understanding of what exactly you are going to build. And that is why I use chat GPT. So inside the community, inside the launch series, I took this idea brain dump because this is something that I myself struggle with. So I wanted to do this product. So what I did, I just briefly explained the idea to chat GPT and then I asked it to list the core features and so on. I just went through it. I ensured that I understood everything regarding the product. So, be, so it's user journey, all of the core features that I will be building in phase one, etc. And only once I had a proper clarity of the idea of what exactly I want to build only then did I proceed forward. Now by proceeding forward, I mean that you can either start building the entire MVP inside Bolt, Lovable, Replit, whatever you want. I personally love using Bolt as that is what I have been using since the past few weeks and I just stuck to it. So you can also use Bolt for your idea. But what I recommend doing even before this is creating a landing page and, you know, start driving traffic to it via Reddit communities, Twitter, etc. And then validate the idea even before you write is even a single line of code. So what happens is if you are getting signups and people are showing interest on your product, then you know that this idea has some potential and then you for sure know that you can start building your MVP. Now, the problem with this is you have to reach out to people. You have to cold DM people. You have to post in random communities or subreddits, hoping that your post would go viral and you will get valuable feedback. And this is the hardest part, I think. 
and that is why i believe that you should start building in public whatever you are doing start building a personal brand on x youtube whatever you are comfortable with because that is the most important asset in 2025 according to me you can also join the community that i have launched 2 weeks ago because inside this you already have 185 plus builders and they talk with one another they share their ideas they validate it then they get feedback on their landing pages their idea etc but yeah that is what you can do and uh, so you know that your idea is validated and it has a good product market fit now is the time to dive inside bolt so this is the product that i built inside bolt so this has everything back end front end and as you can see it also has a decent looking landing page and that is why i have started using bolt so this looks pretty good and this should be more than enough for you to launch in the market you don't have to hire designers for now you don't have to put a lot of time into the ux just ensure that it is following the best practices and it looks decent enough to launch in the market so that is why i you know recommend building the entire product inside bolt so what i recommend is that you have three to four core features that you finalize for phase 1 and then you build the entire mvp inside bolt so around 80 to 90% of the mvp should be done inside bolt and then the rest you take care of inside windsor for cursor so the problem with bolt is even though it allows you to you know deploy with a single click using net netlify but sometimes the code base is not really optimized it is slow security is not taken care of sometimes and that is why you have to ensure that everything is in place so that your mvp is ready to be launched into the market and that is why i prefer going inside windsurf inside windsurf as you can see we have this checklist So what you have to do is you just have to go through this entire checklist. This checklist takes care if each and every feature has been built according to what you decided. It takes care of all the security validations. So for example, if your database has RLS policy set up, you know you don't have your environmental variables exposed on the client side so that anyone could access them and then start using them. So there are multiple things that you have to ensure before you launch your product, and that is what. i recommend you do inside windsurf or cursor just because these ides are much better at doing this and they have much better awareness of the entire code base and just ensure that when you run the test the lighthouse test inside the chrome browser it is giving you a good performance and then on the basis of the feedback from google chrome you can implement that feedback and you can you know optimize your entire mvp so that it is fast it is secure and it is ready to be launched into the market So once this is done you will have your MVP ready and I hope that during this entire life cycle of your MVP you are building everything in public because this will really help you build an audience so that by the time you have your MVP live you already have users waiting for it so this is something that I really recommend but if you did not then what you can do is you can do influencer marketing so basically you can reach out to people on TikTok Instagram who are in your niche and they you can ask them to promote this product on your behalf now the problem with this is this is expensive because you have to pay them upfront the way that i recommend the most is building in public on x because i have seen a lot of people who are great developers but just because they don't have the distribution they are not able to get users and because of which it leads to a failed product the only difference between these top creators that you see on x all the time you know doing 20k mrr 15k mrr is that they have an audience who is willing to start investing in their product and that is why they are doing so good even me 7 months ago i did not have any clients i did not have this community etc and just because i built this audience a lot of the things got easy because now people reach out to me you know in order to get their mvps built or all of the traffic that i got inside the community that was organic and totally from x so that is why i recommend that you start focusing on building your brand online else you can do influencer marketing you can launch paid ad campaigns you can work on the seo etc there are also a lot of buy marketing tactics that people are using on x so for example what they do is warm up their accounts on tiktok and then they start posting reels every single day thanks to all of these cool ai platforms that you have nowadays in order to use an ai avatar promoting your product and then you know you post every single day four to five videos after you have warmed up your account and then what happens eventually one of your video goes viral and then you use that exact format and then you post every single day using that format hoping that all of your videos would go viral and it would then drive traffic to your mvp and potentially if it is a good product market fit people would start paying for it so yep pretty much it i mean 
that is the entire process of you know finding an idea and then converting it into an mvp and then launching it into the market so if you need any help feel free to comment below if you need more one on one support and a community of like minded builders feel free to join the community that i launched 15 days ago thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time